Hello, people of the internet, Lee Spoonu here, and today I'll be discussing every provisioning ingredient present in ESO. We'll be starting with meats and animal products, then moving on to fruits, vegetables, grains, and other ingredients that I couldn't fit in any of those previous categories. Apologies in advance if you can hear what sounds like a dying engine in the background. That is the filter of my turtle tank. The pump needs to be replaced, and let's get right into it. Starting with meat, we have red and white meat. In real life, red meat is described as the meat of adult animals, while white meat is described as the meat of young animals. Pork is often sometimes considered a white meat, while it is technically a red meat. In the game, red meat is acquired from large aggressive animals, such as bears, and can also be acquired from cows, whereas white meat is acquired from certain passive animals, such as pigs and sheep. Up next, we have game and small game. Game is the meat of wild animals. In the game, it is acquired from large passive animals, such as deer. It can also be acquired from goats. Small game is game, but smaller. It is acquired from small passive animals, such as rabbits, as well as skeevers. Poultry is the meat of birds. And in the game, it is acquired from certain birds, such as chickens, as well as certain Elder Scrolls-specific reptile species, such as the Bantam Guar. Fish is the meat of fish, and it is acquired by filleting fish. Also acquired by filleting fish is perfect roe which is fish eggs, or roe. As for our animal products, we have cheese, which is milk curds. In game, it seems to be available as Swiss-like wedges or as mammoth cheese. There are uh, a lot of cheese varieties in lore. Imperial Knowledge has a great video on that, which I've linked in the description below. Our next animal product is Isinglass, which is, a which is a gelatin derived from the swim bladders of fish. It can be used as a thickener and clarifier. Now this is used in drinks within uh, ESO. Also used for drinks in ESO is honey, which is a sweetener derived from bees. You know what honey is, I know what honey is. Moving on. Next we have scrib jelly, which uh, scrib jelly as well as the next few ingredients are also alchemical ingredients and it is a gelatin derived from quama larva, which is an Elder Scrolls specific animal raised in Morrowind. Also from Morrowind, we have beetle scuttle, which is a cheese-like substance made from the flesh of beetles. We have spider eggs, which are the eggs of large spiders, often harvested from Elder Scrolls specific varieties of spiders. We have flesh fly larva, which is the larva of flesh flies. Now, flesh flies are a real creature, but the Elder Scrolls specific variety of flesh fly is um, a red flesh fly. And we have butterfly wings, which are the wings of butterflies. Next, we have our baits, which are sometimes used as provisioning ingredients. We have guts, which are organs acquired from small animals in ESO, which may sound gross, but. That's just like liver, hearts, that sort of thing. We have worms, which are earthworms. Insect parts, which come from flying insects. And crawlers, which are non-flying insects. Also doesn't sound too bad when you think about it, except maybe worms. I wouldn't want to eat worms. It's more of a texture thing. <clears throat> the last thing is the Daedra heart, which is the heart of a humanoid Daedra, an Elder Scrolls specific creature. This is also a style material in creating the Daedric style. It's used in the Purifying Bloody Mara, which reduces vampirism. Next up are our fruits. We have apples, which are the fruit of the apple tree. Only red apples seem to be found in ESO. So we'll, have, we'll be having no Granny Smiths or Yellow Delicious, which is fine with me because Yellow Delicious is the worst kind of apple. We have bananas, which are the fruit of the banana tree. Cyrodiil citrus, which is the fruit of the Cyrodiil citrus tree. This is an Elder Scrolls specific variety of orange and is described as tangy and thick skinned. We have melons, the fruit of the melon vine. It appears to be a green melon of unknown variety, resembling many of the melons present in Renaissance paintings. Uh, some of the melons, such as the melon in the basket versus uh, the image of melons, appear differently, so it's possible that there are multiple kinds of melons in the game. We have pumpkins, which is the fruit of the pumpkin vine, tomatoes, which is the fruit of the tomato plant, and only medium-large tomatoes can be found in the game, so we have no cherry tomatoes or grape tomatoes within ESO. 
Next up are our grapes. We have two varieties of grapes. The Jazz Bay grapes, which is the fruit of the Jazz Bay grapevine, an Elder Scrolls specific variety of grape, which comes in red and green. In ESO, it's used only for food, but outside of ESO, it has been used in wines. And the Cerulei grape, which is the fruit of the Cerulei grapevine, it's an Elder Scrolls variety of red wine grape, and may be related to the Cerulei Brothers Vineyard. I don't know how far back in history that family goes, um, so that may be an oversight, or it may be named after named after them. Uh, we have the acai berry, which is the fruit of the acai plant. Coffee, which is the seed of the coffee plant. Uh, some of you may be confused with why I said seed rather than fruit. And although coffee does come from a fruit, the part we use, well, we typically use is the seed. Fruits may also be used um, in such things as energy drinks. But as far as I know, there are no bang energies in the Elder Scrolls, although there are plenty of monsters and ghosts. We have Comberry, which is the fruit of the Comberry plant. That's the Elder Scrolls version of a cranberry. Guarana, which is fruit of the Guarana plant, although the image of Guarana in ESO resembles a strawberry or raspberry rather than a Guarana. Lemon, which is the fruit of a lemon tree, and Brevez juice, which is I believe to be an Elder Scrolls specific variety of fruit juice, although there doesn't seem to be much lore on that. On to our vegetables. We have beets, which are the root of the beet plant, carrot, which are the root of the carrot plant, and only orange carrots can be found in ESO. Corn, which is the fruit of the corn stalk, and now before anyone says it, I'm specifying that that is a fruit rather than a seed, as the seed is just the thin sliver within the kernel, whereas the rest of it is a fruit. Only yellow corn seems to be able to be found in ESO. We have garlic, which is the bulb of the garlic plant. Greens, which appear to be a variety of leafy greens. The image resembles Brussels sprouts, but the type of green used seems to change based on recipes. Uh, for example, greens takes the place of cabbage in the Balmore cabbage biscuits. We have potatoes, which are the root of the potato plant, and it appears that only russet potatoes can be found in ESO. We have radishes, which is the root of the radish plant. And our drink uh, vegetable, bitter green, which in lore can be used as food, but in the game is only as a drink ingredient. It is the stem of the bitter green vine, which is an Elder Scrolls specific vegetable that grows in Morrowind. It is poisonous when raw, and the image resembles leeks, which, me lead, which is what led me to believe that we are using the stem in the game. Ginger is the root of the ginger plant. Ginkgo is the leaves of the ginkgo plant, although the image resembles bark. Ginseng is the root of the ginseng plant. We have yerba mate, which is the leaves of the yerba mate plant, dried for tea. Seaweed, the leaves of the seaweed plant. Jasmine, the flower of the jasmine plant. Lotus, flower of the lotus plant. And rose, flower of the rose plant. We also have mint, which is the leaves of the mint plant. And frost miriam, the leaves of the frost miriam plant, an Elder Scrolls specific verb, which resembles parsley. We also have ruby blossom extract, which is a sweetener potentially derived from plants, judging by its name, although we have no examples of ruby blossoms in the game. Uh, for our uh, chemical ingredients used in provisioning, we have columbine, the flower of the columbine plant, cornflower, the flower of the cornflower plant, dragonthorn, the flower of the dragonthorn plant, which is an Elder Scrolls specific herb, nightshade, the flower of the nightshade plant, which is poisonous in real life, Nern root, the leaves of the nern root plant, an Elder Scrolls specific herb that grows near water, glows, and chimes. It's also used in the purifying Bloody Mara with the Daedric Heart, so one can assume it has purifying effects. Imperial Knowledge has a great video on this. Uh, and for our alchemical ingredients, which are mushrooms, we have the stinkhorn, which is a young stinkhorn mushroom. Violet Caprinus, which is the Violet Caprinus mushroom an Elder Scrolls specific version of mushroom which does not resemble the, any mushrooms of the real life Caprinus genus but instead resembles the poisonous spotted court mushroom. White cap which is a white cap mushroom, an Elder Scrolls specific mushroom which resembles the poisonous white and cat dapperlings. And now we have our grains, barley, the seeds of the barley plant, millet, seeds of the millet plant, rice, seeds of the rice plant, Saltress, seeds of the saltress plant, which is a Elder Scrolls specific variety of rice that grows in Morrowind and resembles brown rice. 
rye, the seeds of the rye plant, wheat, the seeds of the wheat plant, and flour, which is ground grains, typically wheat, and in the game it resembles white wheat flour. As for the other ingredients that I couldn't fit anywhere else, we have yeast, which is a fungus that converts sugar to carbon dioxide for fermenting and proofing. In the game, it's only used in drinks, so it's only used for fermenting. We have seasonings, which are herbs and spices that vary based on recipe and provenance. Methaglin, which is a spiced mead. Clear water, which is water. Uh, specifically, water available from potion level 10 to 29. If you are below or above that level and wish to use it in provisioning, you will have to buy some. There's morning dew, and that's spelled morning as in grieving. Uh, not much information on that. It appears to be liquid, and it is a very rare ingredient. We have ethereal dust, which is it's magic dust. That's all. Well, that's what it is. Diminished ethereal dust, which is a uh, stale magic dust, and sigic ambrosia, which is the potion of frost mirum, Berves juice, and perfect row, which. Sounds disgusting, but who am I to judge? And that is all of the provisioning ingredients present in ESO. Thank you for watching.